Yeah, I just wanted to make a couple things clear on the last uh, video about citing. When you cite something from a book, in this case, for the first time, like the Rickless book, you put the entire citing in. Remember, you can use websites like uh, eTurabian. Here's the eTurabian website, Turabian 8, and you can actually put in the ISBN number for the book. And then once you put the ISBN number in, it'll give you the, um, the citing information. It'll, so for instance, this book, the ISBN number is 978-0230-212-145. Don't worry about the page numbers right now because they'll change. You submit, and then it'll go ahead and process it. Okay, so here's how you do the bibliography. And then here's how you do a footnote. It doesn't have the numbers here, but this is how you do a footnote. Actually, in this case, since there's four authors, you should put et al. on there like we did. So I would just use these as a, a base of a thing to look at to get the information off of, but then check it against that e uh, that Turabian website, the 8th edition one, that's got all the different shows how to do books, news articles, and all that kind of stuff, because it'll all vary a bit. This is just giving you a books version of it, okay? So anyway, let's get back to the document. Okay, so that's you get the citing from something like that. The first time you have to put the a complete site in here. Notice how this is a half inch tab, and then the second line is flush with the outside, just like all the paragraphs are a half inch tab. So a half inch t uh, space to the first site or to the sightings. And then the next line are flush to the outside, to the left side. After you've cited the book once, then you only have to do an abbreviated citing where you put the last name, and in this case, et al. for the other four names. And then you put the book's name in italics and then the page number. So I'm going to go down. It's blurring out again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Let me do something real quick. Let me get back in focus. Okay, we're back in focus. I don't know why it does that. I'm going to go slowly, hopefully. Okay, so let me get rid of this real quick. So I'm going to show you quickly again how to cite. I just cursored up to that in backspace. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add, go to references, insert a footnote. Now it added a seven there and it superscripted a seven down here. Now remember, these are all regular size. They're, they're times Roman 10 instead of times Roman 12 and they're single spaced instead of double spaced. So let's put the cursor over that. Now you've got it highlighted. Go to home. See how the superscript is bolded up here or you know is highlighted up here? Click on that and now the seven becomes a regular number seven. Hit the back arrow or just to get you right behind the seven, put the dot there, because it's supposed to be seven dot, and then hit the tab key, get the cursor on that, the left side of it, hit the tab, and it gets it over to, to where it's supposed to be. And in this case, since it's going to be rickless, just like I did above, but a different page number, I'm going to copy this. And the one thing that's important, too, before I do that, is make sure, like, for instance, this is supposed to be Times Roman 10, and mine always comes up at Cambria 10 when I do the citing. So change this to Time Roman 10 first. Okay, now the rest of this should be Times Roman 10. So copy this, and make sure you do that. Hit copy, paste. And now whenever you copy and paste, for some reason it does not, and see everything's Times Roman 10 up here, it doesn't do the italics. So you've got to go back through and make sure you got to italicize it because that's the name of the book. And then say this is page 189 instead. Make sure you change the page number. And notice there's a dot after that. So that's how you go through and cite a source, a second, third, fourth time, whatever. Got the different numbers here. So remember that, you know, the first time through, you have to cite it completely. And then after that, you can just use an abbreviated citing. And that's how you go through and uh, 
add those different site themes to your thing to your uh, article okay that's it